In this video, we will look at solving absolute value inequalities. You will find this on page 374 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Solving absolute value or modulus inequalities. When solving absolute value inequalities, you combine the techniques used for solving absolute value equations as well as linear inequalities. Remember that when solving an absolute value equation, there are two or more solutions. And when solving a linear inequality, there is an interval rather than a single value for an answer. Two useful properties that can be used when solving absolute um, value inequalities are now, I just want to, in, and you have to keep this picture in your mind. So, inequalities involving less than. So, if it's less than a number, so say that number can be 7, then it's negative 7, 7, then that is the part in between. It's less than 7. So, it can be 1, 2, 3, but, but it's not 7, it's less, and oh, that's to the negative side as well as to the positive side. Okay. Now, this is an example, so negative 4, so it's all that values in between, so it's that interval. Now, if there's an equal sign, you just include the value, and if there's not an equal sign, you just exclude the value, that value of B. Now, inequalities involving more than, but if it's more than, it means to that side and that side. So keep this picture in your mind. And then, it's going to be, Okay, so if I look at this, it's going to be, okay, let's rather look at the example, it's going to be smaller than equal to negative 4 or bigger than equal to 4. And if there's not an equal, I just leave out the equal signs. Now, this is also, okay, let me just say, in this case, it's going to be, I can, I write it usually as 1. If I want to write it as separately, so x is bigger than equal negative 4, but then I must say, and x is smaller than equal to 4. So then I use the word and. Whereby, if you look here, because it's this, this is not connected, then you use the word or. This is a small thing. So if b, now don't forget, if b is smaller than 0, that, that means a negative. Then you, because distance cannot be negative, then there's no solution. If it's smaller and 0, then it means it's just where it's equal, then it's only that one solution. Okay. But because the smaller is excluded. If it's bigger than 0, then, then it's all the numbers, but 0 is not included. But if it's bigger and equal to 0, then it's all the real numbers. It's just uh, bringing a little bit of that value of B in. Okay. But the best is always to look at an example. So in this case, we will start in this video, just look at less than. And, and please have that picture in your mind. So solve absolute value inequalities involving less than. So solve the following inequalities. So this is smaller, is, is less and equal to 6. Now don't forget, think of your number line. So if you, mm, I don't have a number line now, but it's all right. I will just quickly draw one. Okay, so if, if remember, uh, can I just indicate here? It's going to be, say, because this is 6. So say there is 0, then it's that negative 6 and 6. But remember what I said just now to you. It's going to be that value there. And because this is an equal sign, it's also including. So that part is what you are going to start with. So you take that absolute value and you put that negative 6 and you put the 6 on that side. So there is your inequality. Okay, it's actually a linear inequality now. So this is always the pattern for less than. So you start with that. First, let's forget about the sketch. I'll show you. I'll bring it in now. So then I just solve. But can you remember how did we solve? We, we break it up in two parts. So take that part and first do that. And then take this part and then do this. And then I just simplify. And then I divide. Okay. Basically, it's x is bigger than negative 4.5 or x is smaller and equal to 1. I solve it separately. Note, both must be true. Okay. So also in written, do you see the word and? 
or you can include it like this. Okay. Um, I just want to see, did I do both sketches? Uh, okay. Can I, yeah, this, this sketch is actually for A. So it's, this is the inequality, this is the 6. And what I'm asking you in this case, where is the absolute value smaller? So it's from there to there smaller. Then the absolute value will become bigger. And that is the solution that I got. Now, if I do this, and I take this one, then I get that value of B, I get negative. And as soon as it's negative, then you just go, there's no solution, because distance cannot be a negative. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to give you one. Um, I think, um, F and G, check the table on the previous page. Okay, so F and G, F and G. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do for me, I said one, but I think I'm going to go for two. Number D as well as number E. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you're finished. Now, the reason why I gave you number D is I wanted to see if I catch you out. Because did you see what happened to G, D? As soon as I was taking it over to isolate the bar part, the absolute value part, it was a negative. Distance cannot be. So then you say, no solution. <clears throat> so be careful. Just like in equations, you cannot get, as soon as you isolated it, this must be a positive value. That can be smaller. Okay. I can give you E. That will be better. Let's go to E. Because 2x minus 4, and this is also smaller than 10. Now, remember, I think all of them, these, these are smaller and equal. So if it's smaller, just run all the way with smaller. If it's smaller and equal, run all the way with smaller and equal. Okay, but for now, because it's smaller, less than, I just go and I say 2x minus 4. And now think of your number line is bigger than negative 10 and smaller than 10. That's your opening statement. Okay, now you solve it. And you break it up into two parts. That's my one part. That's my other part. Okay, so it's negative 10, 2x minus 4. So 2x negative 10 plus 4. So it's negative 6. So therefore, Okay, I divide by 2, I divide by 2. So therefore, x and, and is bigger. I didn't, oh, let's just get that in correct. I divide by positive, so keep it like that. Okay, and then this one, let's do the blue one. Uh, it's 2x minus 4, smaller than 10. So 2x is smaller to 10 plus 4. So 2x so therefore, x if I did this, is smaller than 7. And if I'm going to finish that, and I'm going to say, I end up, I, otherwise I must say and, but it's better to say therefore, put your x in the middle. Remember, don't put equal signs, there was not an equal sign. If there's an equal sign, go with equal signs all the way. Okay, but then I put that negative 3, and I put that 7. And that is the solution.